the Daily Code Snippet. We also need to discuss additional table elements that have to do with semantic markup. These elements help to identify roles for the content in our table. The table head, the table body, and the table foot elements. This is important when you have a long, complicated table with a lot of information. The table head element is used to further identify that first row as a header row. This is useful to those accessing your table data using an assistive device. It differentiates the header section from the body or main content enclosed in a table body element. Any footer information would be in the T foot element. This is ancillary information that puts the table data in context or may provide additional information to clarify the data presented. If you're using the table head element, all table row elements must either be part of the table head, table body, or table foot. No table row element can be a direct child of the table element. With HTML5, the table foot is located after the table body. Here is how we might use these in our previous example. This code will display like this. Make note, we really aren't seeing anything different about the table header row nor the table body by adding the table head and table body elements. However, to someone using a screen reader, these elements help with accessibility by identifying the header row and the main content of the table. But we have added a table foot with an additional note. Our table foot contains a table data element that spans all five columns using the col span attribute and we use an embedded styling to make the typography display a little smaller. Presented by Designers Learn Code.